Once as a kid, my brother got pink eye and my family pretty much barricaded him in his room and didn't let him touch anything. All right, you just stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I got you. <laughs> you run away. Ah, stay over there. I'll push the ball to you with this stick. Feel better soon. I think the worst. This <laughs> pats on the head with a stick. What is up you guys, I'm Charmix, today I'm going to be reacting to Injuries and Being Sick by Jaden Animations. So now, I love Jaden Animations, and I, I can relate a lot with this, because I am sick, my goodness, I am sick so freaking often, it's unbelievable. Right now I'm freaking sick, my nose has been bleeding for five days, and I don't know why, but it just keeps bleeding. Nonetheless, I'm sick the majority of the year, and I, I don't know, maybe I have like a really weak immune system or something. Anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Without any further ado, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jane Animations, and let's begin. Being sick is the pits. I should know, because I'm sick right now. You can probably hear it in my disgusting nasal- She does sound a little bit sick. ...nasally voice, and I probably shouldn't be recording a YouTube video right now. But you know what? Life stops for no one, and I'm not gonna get left behind. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> But for real, I was like, I need to get started on the next video, but my voice sounds like I drowned in cheese graters. Whatever. Let's talk about- You see, I'm not sick as in like, um, my voice affected. Uh, you know, I got like a, like a runny nose and it's just bleeding every freaking day for like the last week it's been bleeding. And I don't know why, it just won't stop. But I mean, I can still talk relatively normally. So that's good. About being sick. It's relevant enough. I'm fortunate to have a really good immune system. I Lucky. never get sick. Lucky. <coughs> Believe it or not. From elementary school through high school, guess how many days I've missed from being sick? Don't guess. I'm gonna tell you anyway. Zero? It's two. And they were back oh. to back, so I was just really dying that one time. I mean, sure, I've gotten sick here and there, and my mom was just like, oh, you're <laughs> fine. Pack your bag. You're going to school. Missing arm? <laughs> If the lizards can regrow their limbs, so can you. So that number doesn't tell everything, but I think two is a pretty good score to have over 12 years. I'm not like a crazy germaphobe though. I don't go out of my way to avoid being exposed to sickness or actively try to kill any bacteria that may give me some sniffles. I used to be. And uh, this is like a kind of like a side note, but I actually had some kind of like OCD problems when I was really young. Like, uh, and it, it was off and on too. Where I get like obsessive over washing my hands and using like that stuff that you know kills bacteria or whatever on your hands, and I I I, I was like crazy over it, and then it like went away, and then uh, it came back like a few years later. This like obsession over it, I don't know why. Sometimes I forget to wash my hands. I heard that kids who are more exposed to germs and stuff when they were young were able to more efficiently build immunities to them. So maybe yeah. as a kid, I just ate a lot of dirt. But even though being sick makes you want to just give- Maybe that would explain why my immune system is so bad. You know, having like the OCD problems when I was younger and being so paranoid of germs and whatnot. You know, that affected my immune system. That's why nowadays I'm always sick. Give up on everything because your eyes are red and your head hurts and you're tired all the time but can't sleep because your nose is plugged and you can't breathe <laughs> and everything is agony and life is pain and nothing is worth it in the end. There are some pros that can come from it. Like, you don't have to share anything because no one wants to share anything with your disgusting, diseased self. Do you have a pencil I can borrow? I've got a cold. Never mind. Can I have some of your food? I have the flu. Keep it. Do you want to hang out? I'm sick. Oh, no, it's okay. We can just sick of your bullcrap. Ah! Being sick is the best excuse to be a bad member of society and get sympathy for it. Any other time, if you were to sleep in till 12 and then stay in bed all day on the computer, people would just think you're really lazy and have no motivation. But if you just say, oh, I was sick, all of a sudden, oh, you poor thing, get better soon. Can I get you anything? Oh, you're <laughs> such a trooper. It's great. Also, you have the power to claim anything you touch. To each their own, but I also use being sick as an excuse to not talk to anyone because I'm a pathetic shy blob. Good job, immune system. You have failed me. Once as a kid, my brother got pink eye and my family pretty much barricaded him in his room and didn't let him touch anything. It's funny how as soon as someone gets sick, everyone is empathetic towards them, but also kind of treats them like an unpredictable rabid animal. All right, you just stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I got you. <laughs> you run away. Ah, stay over there. I'll push the ball to you with this stick. Feel better soon. I think the worst. <laughs> this 
pats him on the head with a stick. And it's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. I mean, if someone's sick, especially in like, you know, in the house, if you have a parent sick or something, you know, you don't want to be near them, but then again, you live with them. <clears throat> So you're gonna cross paths and you're gonna get sick from it. So it's understandable why you wouldn't want to be near them, right? First thing I had growing up was a few migraines here and there. The first time I had a migraine was in sixth grade. I was sitting in class and all of a sudden my eyes started not working. Like I would look in one direction and I couldn't see anything in my peripheral vision. It was all gray and foggy. And at first I was like, whoa, this is weird. So this is what blind people see. And I was kind of fascinated <laughs> by it. Then all of a sudden it felt like my brain exploded. I got to go home early, but I don't count that as a sick day because- That's what a migraine feels like? That sucks. That sucks. I was at school for the majority of it. If you've never had a migraine, take a moment to just appreciate that because they're one of the worst things ever. I mean, there's worse, but they were up there. I haven't even had any <laughs> really bad injuries either. The only serious injury I've had was when I was nine. I'm saying serious because I had to go to the ER but it's really not that bad. For my birthday one year, my parents got me Heelys. Do you remember those? The shoes with the wheel in them? I didn't specifically ask for them, but after- Supposedly, they're actually still a thing, which I didn't know that, but supposedly people still use them. I thought they were a thing when I was like, you know, really young in school, but apparently they're still, they're still kicking. After a few months, I decided to start trying them out. I'd roll around in the house, up and down the halls, and it was pretty fun. Then one time, I decided to take them out on the streets. Our neighborhood was on a slant, so there was a bit of a steep angle to the cul-de-sac, and I was like, this is a good idea. Foreshadowing, it very wasn't. I started going down the road and picking up speed, and like oh two-thirds of the way down, the tiniest little pebble was uh... like, Hey there, friend! And clogged the wheel and threw me forward. I hit my head on the road and opened a huge gash in my chin. My mom was outside talking to our neighbor, so she saw the whole thing and was like, Okay, well, I'll talk to you later, Wendy. We're gonna <laughs> waltz on over to the hospital now. My adrenaline was still pumping super hard, so I didn't feel a thing, and I was like, No, Mom, I'm fine. It's not that bad. I'm okay. But she was like, No, we're going to the hospital. I had to hold a towel over my chin to keep from bleeding all over the car. She didn't let me see the damage at the time, but I asked her about it a bit ago, and she said she didn't want me to see the cut because even she was freaked out about it. This description isn't for the- You might have also gotten a concussion doing that, you'd think, right? If you hit- If this hits the ground- and you're going pretty fast. That's your whole head's hitting the ground. And that would shake up your brains a bit, so you might have got a concussion from that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I've had some pretty bad injuries myself, like dropping a 60-pound weight on my finger. And it snapped it like, like that. Just snapped it straight in half. And that was painful. My goodness, that was painful. The squeamish, but she described it as, like, another mouth I gashed out of my head. <laughs> Hey, Finn, sorry about all this. Okay, yeah, it's probably for the best you didn't let me see that. So I went to the hospital and ended up getting three stitches in my chin. When I was waiting for the doctor, a doctor from another room walked in to get some water and was like, what are you in for? She hit her chin on the road. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've been there before. And he showed us a scar in his chin. And then another doctor overheard from the other room and was like, yep, same story. And he had a scar on his chin. So that was a nice human bonding experience. I didn't know so many doctors had Heelys. When I went- It looks like, uh, Jaden, it looks like you were actually destined to be a doctor, but you took a different path. Went to school the next day, I had a bandage on my stitches, and all of my two friends were like, Whoa, what happened? I hit my chin on the road. You Whoa! get bragging rights. And I felt really cool, and it made me want to, like, break my arm or something to be even cooler. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. I don't know, Jaden seems to be lucky. She only missed two days of school from being sick. I guess I didn't miss... I, of course I missed more than that. But I, I didn't miss that much more than that. Like, I got sick maybe once a year with the flu. And I'd miss maybe one or two days a year from that. But for the most part... From being sick, I didn't miss that much in school. But, you know, once you got into high school and I could actually end up skipping class and doing that kind of stuff. So, you know, going from, you know, missing school two days a year, that went up t to uh, too many days a year, shall we say. But uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share with a friend. If you're new, subscribe to the family. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jane Animations. I'll see you guys next time. Boop.